All right, let's talk some conic sections. Um, first up, circles. We talked about how circles were x minus h, y minus k, equals r squared. Really just Pythagorean theorem. Center is hk, and radius is r. And so everything with conic sections is going to be squared. So the center is the opposite of 3, because it moved it to the right 3, and down 5, so 3, negative 5. Right, the equation of the circle was the center at 9, so x minus 9, x minus the h squared, y minus the negative 4, so it ends up being y plus 4 squared, equals 16 squared, which is 256, and then you're done. So that's circles. Um, equation of the hyperbola. The basic hyperbola equation either was x squared over something minus y squared over something equals 1. And these were both squared values. Or it was y squared over something minus x squared over something. And these opened left to right, and this one opened up and down. So, write the equation of the hyperbola with vertices 0, negative 6, and 0, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So because those two points are up and down, you know it's got to be a y squared minus x squared equation. And I didn't include x minus h and all that. Um, because it was centered at 0, 0. Again, 0, 0 is in between zero, negative 6 and 0, 6. Because um, the asymptotes are 6 over 5, this was the rise over the run of this box we made when we were making hyperbolas. And so if we went to the right 5, that would have been our left and right, and so we would have been 6, um, up 6, and over 5 for these, these asymptotes, which was the slope using our box. So we went up and down 6, and so 6 squared, or 36, goes under there, and 5 squared goes under the x, because we went left and right, 5. What type of conic is this? Well, as soon as you see the minus, we know that this is going to be a hyperbola. If plus, it would be an ellipse. If plus and the 9 and the 6 were equal, it would be a circle. And if only 1 squared, it would be a parabola. So just keep that in mind. We saw that a lot. Um, write the equation of an ellipse that has a vertex at 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a covertex at 0, 3. Now, we're going to go on the assumption that it's centered at 0, 0, because you could have the center be at 4, 3, um, but we're going to go on the assumption that it's not. So this is what our ellipse looks like from the center at 0, 0, so we're going to put x squared plus y squared for an ellipse. And so because we went left and right 4, 16 is going to go underneath the x because 4 squared was left and right. And because we went up and down 3, 9 is going to go because we went up and down 3. And that is our ellipse equation. Write the equation of hyperbola whose center is 8, negative 2. Um, and so we're going to have, and we want it to be with respect to the y-axis. Um, and so it's going to be a y squared minus x squared equation. So I'm going to put y minus a negative 2, or y plus 2 squared, minus, because it's hyperbola, x minus 8 squared equals 1. 
Now, we never made a big fuss over the A and the B. And so whatever the equation comes out on your test, this is what will help you out. But let's assume that the A value um, always is underneath the X, and the, y, the B value is always underneath the Y in terms of hyperbolas. And so we're going to put 9 for 3 squared, and we're going to put 7 squared is 49, and we'll leave it as, as such. Um, put the following hyperbola into standard form. So let's try this one. This is ones where we had to complete the square a bunch. And so we grouped our x's and our y's. Group 9x squared minus 4y squared plus 16y. And then we ditched our constant to the other side. Then what we did was we would factor out if we needed to. And we only factor out the numbers. We could technically factor out a y, but our goal is to complete and write as something like this squared. Um, so when you take out 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. And we do half of 4 squared. So we're going to add 2 squared. We're going to add 2 squared, but times a negative 4. Because we didn't really add 2 squared here we added 2 squared times the negative 4 that's out front here. So this is 9x squared minus 4. And then the whole reason we did this was so we could write this as y minus 2 squared. So this is minus 4 times 4. Um, so we get 36. So we get 9x squared minus 4 y minus 2 squared equals 36. And to get the 1 that we want, we need to divide by 36. So we're going to end up with x squared. 9 over 36 reduces to 1 over 4. 4 over 36 reduces to 1 over 9. Then we end up with that as our hyperbola. The biggest thing with completing the square is factor out if you need it. Take half the middle term squared. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared. It will always be added on the inside here. And then the middle term just takes that form. Um, find the equation of the parabola with vertex 0, 0, and focus 0, negative 2. And so because the focus is down, we know it's got to be a negative x squared graph. Um, the distance from the vertex to the focus is negative 2. That's our p-value. And so in terms of y equals our ax squared, which our a was that 1 over 4p x squared, so y equals 1 over 4 times negative 2 x squared, negative 8x squared. So figure out, is it positive or negative? It's negative because it opens down. It's x squared because it opens down, rather than y squared because that would open to the left. And figure out your p-value, and just plug it right in. Next one, what's the radius of our circle? Well, right now it's not in proper form because these fives are here. So we can't tell what the r squared is. So we have to divide by the 5 to get x minus 3 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 10. And so the radius of this one is the square root of 10 because r squared equals 10. And that conic sections.